do attack people that's not generally visitors there's generally your poachers now, I'm not too sure if you guys know about poachers but they're quite weird your anti-poaching team because they're quite weird because generally what they used to do they used to sedate you know shoot to sedate the guys and then obviously take them to jail whatever now they shoot to kill Have a look at where we are, guys. Is this the Yuxke River? This is the Crocodile River. This is the Crocodile River. On the banks of the Crocodile River, I don't know how well this is going to film, obviously, but it's absolutely beautiful. We're deep in a cliff here, and it's been a, oh, I guess we've probably done about five or six kilometers through the park. Really cool. Hey guys, what a lekker morning! A proper morning. Eh? Okay, this is Jason. Jason, you are our, you were our friendly game ranger for the day. Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about the Lion and Safari Park. Right, so the Lion and Safari Park, um, we're under new management um, from last year, the first of August. Um, yeah. The gentleman's name is Dr. Keith Putongo. Yeah. So he's a local guy, so he took over from a gentleman which was from outside. Yeah. So ever since he took on a new ownership of the park, he's basically been trying to accommodate or acquire other properties which are neighboring to our properties. So to his plan overall throughout the years, he wants to develop this piece of park into a proper wildlife reserve where all of our predators, all of our game can roam freely. Because right now, because we are 1,800 hectares, we still have to keep our predators behind fences uh, by conservation law. Yeah. Uh, so Jeremy, that is the aim for him. Um, so Jeremy, under the new management, he's kept us with him. Um, we still on short term at the moment, but we, we love what we do, which is why we're still here. Isn't that just amazing? So this will eventually be an open park, eventually, long term, with predators and everything all wandering through. Roman freely, yes. But so, for now, for now, we can come and ride you on our motorbikes while they're all locked away still, eh? Yes, for sure. From the ADA side, we got it exclusive to come and ride on the Lion and Safari Park. And it's a more or less 11 kilometer ride that you do yeah. where you're visiting the um, uh, Ahinas and see all the game. 
on your bike that you that you actually ride through all the game all the way it's fantastic and i've got to tell you from what i saw today the oaks were really well behaved it was very nicely controlled and it's just a nice little thing to do better suited obviously towards adventure bikes but i believe a, a, a bunch of vespers came through last month yes. yes that must have been great fun eh? guys thanks a lot so guys this is the lion and safari park we'll run a feature on the place you need to book it through ada or through honda wing west rand uh, and you can come and bring your bikes out. It's something different to do. It's really good. Thank you, gents. What a brilliant way to kill a couple of hours on a, on a chilly, high-felt winter's morning. The Lion and Safari Park is just down from Lanseria Airport on the Brutusturm Road. You could hear during the interviews all the bikes buzzing past. So it's on a very popular breakfast run route different to something you would usually do and if you don't ride a motorcycle you saw that game drive vehicle following along at the back very very cool the guides are knowledgeable it's an 11 kilometer loop with nothing too tricky or technical that you'll end up falling over and there was lots to see and once again interesting ladies and gentlemen just one more reason that you need a motorcycle in your life chat to the guys from honda wing west rand to book